Well, one one issue which is interesting, and I and I wonder if organized crime, at least as we're considering it, has sort of broken those boundaries. I think it's Lansky you quote somewhere, or, or, or one of the key figures, who says, or oh, it's Siegel actually. I'm I'm not sure. Well, we never kill outside of the mob. I don't know if you remember that sort of phrasing. I mean, was that true? Uh, uh, would the mob have killed a journalist in New York at the time? similar to what is regularly conducted in Mexico. Are there sort of rules that have now been shattered as organized crime has grown and, and, and the old sort of proper regulations have been broken? Or is that all nonsense, that this is a very violent organization and will use violence against whoever opposes it? Yeah, so for the most part, it is it is true. Uh, Siegel was the person, as you remembered, and he, he did say, he said to a developer that he he asked this developer to build the Flamingo Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And the developer was leery. He said, I'm not going to get... The guy was scared, right? Yeah, he said, I'm not going to get myself involved with this wild gangster. And Eagle said, don't worry about it. We only kill each other. And for the most part, that was true. And even in my own day, it was still for the most part true. You know, we kill each other and we hope that the government then will leave us alone you know, there was a during the Gallo War, which I talk about in the second book, it's volume two. Um, one of the judges uh, was holding Gallo, Joey Gallo, who was part of the the war that was taking place on the streets of Brooklyn, a big part of the, the war, an integral part of the war. And the judge said, I don't I don't want to let this guy go, but I really don't have a reason to hold him. And the prosecutor said, well, just hold him because because we know he's part of the war. And we don't want to let him out. He says, look. These guys are going to handle their business their own way, no matter what. Let them do it. And, you know, the judge was very, very pragmatic in the sense that he understood they're going to kill each other. They're not killing citizens. And you used to, if you accidentally did kill a citizen, you would be killed. You know, there, there are instances where uh, stray bullets hit people and that guy goes in and he's done. You got to get rid of him. Now, that's how it goes, so seemingly how it breaks from that that circle is you may see once in a while, like in Chicago, that a sheriff got killed or a judge got killed. But those people have they've they've sort of like wandered into our world. You don't you don't necessarily kill a judge because you're in front of him. 